And I think Axel is a little out of control, which is, uh, which is the way you should be if you're going to be like a big rock star with the limos and everything. You should be out of control, and you should be kind of, you never know what's going to happen next. So I thought that was great. That doesn't happen at that level anymore, because I think bands arrive at that level with all kinds of, you know, attorneys and handlers and stuff. So they sort of pose as rebels, but they're, they're not dangerous. Nothing's going to happen around them. Whereas with, uh, with Axel, you never knew, because I think he was a little, he was on, like, psychosomatic drugs or something. I don't know. Um, he's a very talented guy, you know, and he can be very, very nice. And he could all of a sudden be prickly, you know. So it was always interesting to be around him. Even as eccentric as Axel seems, he really is who he is. I don't think it's an act or anything. I think maybe he had some problems with kind of balance, sort of, I don't want to say mental balance, but sort of keeping it together in public, and which would be storming off the stage or jumping into you know, the pit to you know, wrestle cameras out of people's fans' hands. Um, but that's just the way he is. So he really is the way he is, and he's not at all pretentious. And he's very talented, so it's it's good to have him back. You know? I think Sebastian Bach was telling me he should get out of, get out of the house more, because he spent years just giving dinners. Right. You know? <laughs> he had a big long table, and people would come and eat. Uh, but I heard that Sebastian Bach was a friend of his for a long time, saying, "Axel, you're Axel. You know, why don't we go out occasionally?" He started getting him to go out to nightclubs and stuff, which is probably a good thing.